it's looking like April is probably going to be the month when I'm going to be visiting my parents in Connecticut. I know I haven't really, really talked about that much yet, but it is now looking after talking with them, going back and forth and everything, and with Kat and her schedule. It's definitely looking like April is a month when I'm going to be visiting Connecticut. I don't have any details whatsoever yet. I'll let you know as we get closer the dates and everything, but it's basically looking like I'm going to be starting to book transportation and everything very soon. Um, so it's going to be like a springtime visit back to Connecticut. Um to see my parents and for Kat to meet my parents and all of that. So it's going to be pretty good. Um, I hope, I hope it ends up being a good trip and everything works out. Um, we'll see, but I should have more information shortly and immediately you get an idiot. I love it. You shouldn't be spending any money on trips. I'm not. I've already announced when I talked, I was going to be doing about this, this, this year in what was it? December, January. When I first mentioned this, I said, my parents are going to pay for it. This is something my parents are paying for. Because they want to meet Cat, because they're not in the best of health. They want to spend time with me and Cat. All right. And they want Cat to have an opportunity to see, you know, where I grew up and everything. Um, <clears throat> that's why this trip is happening. And I knew it. I knew just mentioning this immediately we'd get an idiot who would say that. Still spending money. Still spending money. <laughs> well, I'm not. And you're stupid. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So that being said, yes. In April, I'm probably going to be visiting my parents, so that's probably going to be a week away from streaming in April, um, whenever that is yet. I don't know yet. I do know that in April, we got Mortal Kombat 11 and Days Gone, but that's about it. Like, it's a very slow release month this year, for whatever reason. Um, so, <laughs> your parents shouldn't be spending any money on chips. Now, that's funny. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So anyway, there you go. That's a very extended schedule. And there's a lot coming up. But I hope that March ends up being a good month. Because like I said, I really need to do my best to raise funds for this tax situation in April. So, all right, guys. Um, So that's the deal with the schedule. All right. Let's now get to uh, plugs. Very quick plugs. And then we'll get to shout outs. And then we'll get started here with the conclusion of Metro. Okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you all for all of your support. All right, I do appreciate your support. And I just want to let you know, I'm only here because of you. I made a nice post on Twitter last night about this that, you know, over the years there've been so many different hurdles, so many different challenges, and it's because of your direct support that I am still here and able to do what I love for a living. I love that, and I want to say thank you all for that ongoing support. And, you know, I I I I I'm positive. I'm feeling positive. Okay? <clears throat> that we can kind of overcome every, anything, you know, when it really comes down to it. Um, so we'll see. We'll see how stuff goes in the next month with the whole thing with the taxes and everything, all right? But anyway, if you love my daily live streams, if you love my daily videos on demand on YouTube, you like everything that I do, and you want to see all of this continue because you love it, there's many ways that you can contribute in order to, to aid that effort. The first would be my Patreon at patreon.com forward slash darksidefill where your monthly pledges earn you personal perks. In particular, the two good perks that I would mention this month is number one, if you pledge five bucks or more, you'll be able to nominate your favorite moments over my 10-year history as a content creator for next month's retrospective event. Okay? In addition, if you pledge $20 or more, you're going to get your question answered on Ask the King for sure on next month's episode, which is also going to take place in March. I forgot to mention that. Um, that's my bi-monthly Q&A show. So you get a guaranteed public answer to your question, an in-depth answer, right? That's pretty neat. Um, give it a look. Thanks to anyone who pledges. I appreciate it. Patreon.com forward slash DarksidePhil. Um, also, you can get cool merchandise from my Teespring shop. T-shirts, sweatshirts, hoodies, stickers, mugs, all high-quality stuff. I really love it. I own a bunch of it. Give it a look. And thanks to anyone who buys anything. It helps me out. If you're here live on the stream, okay, if you're here live on the stream and you want to get a shout out during the stream, okay, hold on a second, we've got some trolls in the stream chat and sadly, um, sadly, I, there's no mod here today for some reason, I don't know why, I don't see a mod here. Even though it's friggin' Saturday. 
So I had to get rid of the stupid troll. Okay. So let's try this again. Um, if you're here live on the stream and you'd like to get a shout out during today's stream, if you either cheer, sub, or tip, I will give you a shout out during today's live stream. Okay. Um, so please, you know, if you consider it, anything is good. You know, subbing right now will earn you over, I think it's 38 total emotes. I think there's 38 total emotes, including four new ones I added yesterday that people really seem to enjoy. Plus, you won't have to watch advertisements. You'll get a cool chat crown badge that'll show that you're a supporter. Um, if you cheer or tip, I'll put you up here on the Stream Stats leaderboard if you are the current top cheerer or top tipper. Sound good? Pretty good stuff. And again, I interact with everyone who cheers, subs, and tips and give you a shout-out during the stream. As long as it is something, you know, that's positive and in line with the stream and not a trollish comment. It is subjective what I read on my own stream. It's, you know, so I, I you know, try to maintain per the, the rules of Twitch and everything. Uh, what we can and can't do. All right. So, thank you everyone for your contributions. Thank you to anyone considering contributing. It's very much appreciated what, what you guys do and toss in to make this all happen. All right. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So, that being said. I think it's time for shout-outs. All right, let's get to the shout-outs. First off, overnight we had a couple people who contributed. We actually had Golden Colts who cheered, and then we had Infinite 55 who did a 500-bit cheer. Thank you both for the overnight support. It's very much appreciated. Okay? Then, today on stream, we started off with Ace who did a 50-bit cheer and said, even though Jump Force is not a competitive game, you should at least try the multiplayer on stream so you get the full experience. Yeah, I hear you. And the thing is, you know, we're going to probably beat the story pretty quickly tonight so there's i have no problem with at least jumping in and trying a few online matches i get the feeling it's not going to be fun the game itself the game mechanics aren't great so i could just imagine what this is like i'm sure people have already found incredible ways to abuse the system and oh you got hit teleport behind try to hit him oh you got hit again combo break oh look at this combo break break you know oh I, I, it's just gonna be annoying as shit i just from just the gameplay of the campaign, it almost seems to me it's not going to be great. You know, it's going to be one of those really annoying experiences. So, <clears throat> all right. So, but anyway, yeah, you're right. And I will give it a shot tonight, I guess. And we'll check it out. Okay. Um, Two Bar King did a 100-bit cheer. Thank you very much, Two Bar King. You're the first 100-bit cheerer. And that makes you the top cheerer. Let's get you up on the leaderboard. There we go. Thank you very much, Two Bar King. Um, then we had a 100-bit cheer from Bagel Goose. And Bagel Goose says, would you do art contest post winners? Um, I guess what Bagel Goose is saying is if there's like an art contest, all right, uh, would I post up the winners of who I think are the best stuff? I mean, yeah, but I don't know what the contest would be. Like I told you guys, I can't, uh, excuse me, I can't afford to ship stuff worldwide anymore. I just don't have the funds for it. Um, so that being said, um... I don't know what the contest... Like, I could pick a winner, but what would I give the winner? I have no clue. In addition, right now, it's not like we have copious amounts of art that gets submitted. We don't. Every once in a while, someone makes a new piece of fan art, and I'm pretty happy when they do, because I like putting this stuff on my streams. Um, I like all the fan art. I don't think it's fair to judge it against other art. Some people have more talent than others when it comes to the detail of the levels of the drawings they can do. But it doesn't mean that other fan art that maybe is more simple isn't good. You know what I mean? So, I don't think I would want to do a contest, no. Um, but I am super appreciative of all fan art that is submitted. If you guys are interested, uh, if you head to my forums at thekingofhate.com, there's already a thread there that says fan art. And it says right in it, you know, Phil returned to stream. This was, you know, years ago when I did. Um, you know, post up here. Anything. Emotes, fan art for the stream, whatever. You also, that's another thing. We still have, I believe, five or six open emote slots. So if anyone wants to work on designing more emotes for the stream, I'd be more than happy to do that. Plus, I don't think we need emotes like the Santa emotes we could probably get rid of. You know what I mean? So we have lots of ample space for new emotes if anyone wants to work on those. And before anyone says, um, oh my God, you know, why is Phil, why, you know, why doesn't Phil make his own emotes? Why doesn't he do all of this himself? Very simple. I have no talent in that regard. I don't. I have no graphic design talent. And I don't even have any programs to do it. This year, I stopped all of my editing programs. I don't even have a video editor. I'll say that again. I don't even have a video editor. I had to get rid of it because I couldn't afford it. It was like hundreds of dollars to have this video editor. So I got rid of it. 
and you know, um, you know, it is what it is. So that's you know, I just I had to be done. Right? It was one of those costs. That I was like, wow, I barely ever edit videos, so why do I need a video editor? So I cut that out of my budget. Okay. Um, so yeah, you know, that's life. But um, I don't have any expertise in this regard. So if you guys want to work on emotes for the stream, great. Much appreciated, okay? All right, Roy King Tree did 100 bit cheers. Says, How can I become a mod? I'm here for almost every stream because I work from home. Uh, very simple, Roy King Tree. Email me at darksidephilhotmail.com. Let me know that you're serious. Let me know your schedule. You know, we'll go back and forth. I'm sure we'll talk a little bit. And then basically based on, you know, input from my other mods and, and you know, in reality, how often you actually are here and how you behave in chat, etc. You know, we can make a determination on if we... Ow. And if we'd actually like to, to add you for as a mod. Okay? So if you're interested, that's the, the screening process. Fair enough? All right. Okay. All right, guys. Um, That's really it. No tips yet today. So nothing to put up there on the leaderboard. Um, Never mind. As soon as I said that. Rick Grimes Dimes tipped me a dollar and said, apparently Microsoft are planning on bringing Xbox Game Pass to Nintendo Switch. What's your thoughts on this? Great. You know, Nintendo absolutely needs third-party support in order to survive. This is 100% true. Okay? It needs it. They, they absolutely need third-party support. And the problem is right now, the third-party games they have on their console aren't very good. I can tell you this firsthand. And the reason I can tell you this firsthand is because Cat was looking for games on the Switch to play and was looking through the catalog and my god, it was the biggest fucking shovelware catalog I've ever seen in my life. It's hilarious when Nintendo tries to tout, and even Nintendo fanboys, we have thousands upon thousands of games on our console. Yeah, and about 90% of them are trash. They look like mobile games. In fact, a lot of them actually are mobile games. You can fucking get them on your phone. So why the hell do you want them on your Switch? <laughs> That's pretty funny. Um... <clears throat> Now, I'm not saying there aren't any good games for Switch. There absolutely are, but most of them are first-party games, all right? If Switch actually wants to compete in the wide market rather than just being, yet again, another gimmick Nintendo product that's successful because it's a gimmick, but it doesn't really compete with other console makers, um, they need to have third-party games. Xbox Game Pass could be a great way to do this. Of course, that would mean actually porting good Xbox games to the Switch. And I would love to tell you a few of those, but there really haven't been that many recently. Like, this last year, the games that were exclusives, like State of Decay 2, Sea of Thieves, um, Crackdown 3, they're not good. <laughs> if the games aren't good, why do you want to get Xbox Game Pass, right? Like, if the game is trash, why would you even get Game Pass to play those games, you know? Unless it's a parent, man, I don't really don't want to buy a $60 game for my kid. Here, I'll toss $10 at Xbox Game Pass let him play a bunch of crap. So, I don't know. And the other thing is, the other, uh, the other thing is the whole deal with uh, Xbox Live coming to the Switch. And that, I really feel the reason that is, is because the Switch has, and Nintendo in general, has never had a great messaging system. They don't have voice chat on their console. You have to have a third-party app on your friggin' phone to even do it. So maybe bringing Xbox Live to the console will actually bring some functionality to it, just like every other console has had for the past 15 years, but Nintendo decides that they're special and don't need it. Um, So, yeah. It's funny, because there's like... Oh, for so many years, Nintendo's the best. Nintendo's number one. Nintendo does everything different, but they're cool. Oh, look, now Nintendo's adopting everything Xbox did. <laughs> but we'll see. You know, it remains to be seen. Let's see what actually happens here um, in regards to the whole deal with uh, the Xbox stuff coming to Switch and how much it really is implemented, you know. Um, and we'll go and we'll, we'll see. Then I'll have a, a better formulated opinion. Right now, we're just hearing rumblings and announcements. We don't really know how it's going to be implemented, so... Shout out to Rob8777, who has subscribed to the channel for 14 months, and says, hello. All right, well, hello. Hello to you, Rob, and thank you for the ongoing support. It is much appreciated. Thank you very much. Um, sadly, I think that we've lost some subs here on the stream, but let's check. Yeah, we're all the way down to three. We only have three subs. No, I'm kidding. We're actually up to 499, which is weird, because when I started the stream, the stream said 496, 
and we didn't get three new subs. At least the announcement didn't pop up. So, <laughs> I don't know how we're at 4 but apparently we are. So, thank you to everyone who did subscribe here. Okay? Okay. All right, everyone. So, I think that's really, that's pretty much it. 